So I'm not an expert in graphic design, but something tells me there are several problems with this. DC League of Super Pets brings Crypto the Super Dog onto the big screen, along with a team of pet heroes who work together to save the day. The movie doesn't look that bad. It uses familiar faces to draw people in, while having enough action and adventurous ideas that make it seem kinda cool? At least, that's what I'm thinking based on the trailer. Maybe the movie's horrible. We'll see. Anyway, what matters right now is a recent poster for the movie that caught Twitter's attention. Being shared more than a hundred thousand times, everyone's been talking about this. Before I mention anything, let me pose a question to you, dear viewer. When you look at this, what do you notice first? In this case, there's a pretty good chance you'll either notice Crypto first, or the massive name at the bottom, Dwayne Johnson. The completely white background makes it stand out even more. This is mistake number one. For anyone passing by in the theater, their immediate assumption is that the movie is titled titled Dwayne Johnson. Hey Johnny, you want to check out Dwayne Johnson next Saturday? <laughs> yeah, sure. Mistake number two is all about the actual movie's title. Obviously, it's called DC League of Super Pets. Okay then, why is it about 10 times smaller than Dwayne's name? Seriously, it's like the last thing you see. Mistake number three is at the top. He goes by Bark Kent. What a wacky pun. But wait, what about someone who isn't familiar with Crypto the Superdog? Too bad. Since that name is nowhere on the poster, outsiders may be confused at what they're even seeing. Kevin Hart got his own poster that shares the same problems, and it hurts. Clearly though, this was an intentional decision by the movie's marketing. What it tells me is that they're not too confident in the actual movie itself. Instead of giving the characters or title focus, they have to rely on celebrities to make the most money. That's another problem with this whole thing. Dwayne Johnson is a great actor and played some amazing animated characters, but I feel like he doesn't fit the role of crypto that much. I bit the FedEx guy the other day. Who was he working for? General Zod, the Legion of Doom? FedEx. Of course, the Federation of Exes. Not to be trusted. Then again, this is Hollywood. You can be disappointed, but never be surprised. This poster isn't a big deal in the grand scheme of things, but it's also a sign of a greater problem. When will more animated movies rely on the actual content of the movie instead of celebrities? I don't know, probably never. But at the end of the day, this poster is a mess and it just leaves people feeling confused. At this point, I just wanna go back and rewatch the real Crypt of the Super Dog. It's been in a long time, old friends. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.